It's night and day. Oh my god, Nightmare back, right. and we're not alone. No, not in the slightest. We have a buttload of friends now. And we're gonna kill them all. <laughs> and a friend load of butts, so ah. be careful what you wish for. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Alright, so this, Oh, god, that guy's foot is so disgusting. Like when they start having their weird giant growths that get out of control... Oh, like yeah. The zombies in this game look so... And they're all pussy and disgusting. Oh, sweet, he's eating. Yeah. That's... Not something, only a video game kind of response. Oh, sweet. Look at him eat that, tear that body apart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, buddy. Good, look at that guy just rip that person to shreds. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> oh, wow. Just a quick one, one stab to the chest. Yeah, so far everybody except for Wendy's and Stabby's take the, the one shot. Wendy's we don't even think we can sneak up on because they have faces in every direction. Right. Oh, there she is, Miss America. <laughs> oh, God. Wendy McGee, and there's a stat, or two people tearing into some people. There she is, Miss America. <laughs> She's an STD sent from God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her, the way she staggers forth. Oh, America, she could be yours. Oh, God. Okay, so there's the Miss America song for Wendy. Congratulations. <laughs> You're the next contestant on The Price is Your Soul. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, sweet. Get him. Oh. That's right. Turn your little billy back. Turn your back, Billy! Just stay there. Hey! Hey! Yes! <laughs> Dog! <laughs> Don't! Now, fortunately, no zombies hear that. Right. I guess they don't hear each other. I don't know. But, except for the giant screaming that they all do. <laughs> yeah. If, if they hear... If one of them sees you, then they yell and they all hear it. But if you stab one in the head and he yells, none of them hear it. It's like, a, it's like a necessary mechanic for the stealth function to actually right, yeah. work. Like in Last of Us, they cover the mouth when they do the stealth takeout. Ah. So it's like, oh my god. Oh, Wendy, no. <laughs> so they, it's still kind of contrived, because if you're covering somebody's mouth, they can still scream. <laughs> yeah, <You'll laughs> It's not like this all-purpose sound vacuum when you move your hand over somebody's mouth. <laughs> So I can take out one of these, but that doesn't help me. And yeah, then you get here. another one and Wendy yeah. all awake. Yeah. So I'm going to say a no-no to that. That means... Can I just leave here? Is that is that a possibility now? Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure if it's better to ignore them because of Wendy or to try and take them down. Yeah, because Wendy's not going to be easy. Wendy's a serious threat, yeah. She's less serious of a threat if we eliminate all these stragglers first, though. Right, yeah. Because then all she can do is her slow spit. We can run away from that. If she's not calling a horde over, she's not that big of a deal. I can we shoot think. this door, but I don't know what that helps me with. Well, I, I assume we have to go that way to get to the other resonance. Because we still never found that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. you're just going to clip right through that. Yeah, that's to get to the other one. Yeah, so depending on... The map didn't say exactly what that is. That might be where we have to go next, or it could be an optional thing that's... No, I think we have to... Because we have the chip now, we have to go back. Oh, right, 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 yeah. to that other place. Yeah. So this is just an optional thing. Yeah, so this is just to get the resonance. But, you know, could be great. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think it can be the absolute best in the game, because... I think we got that with the syringe upgrade. <laughs> the only other thing that could be amazing is a new weapon. Right. I'm kind of disappointed Torres didn't give us a new weapon. What do you guys think about that? You guys happy with that? Huh, they don't care. Wow. They're not programmed to 
hear that as a noise, I guess. I guess environmental stuff doesn't matter to them. Yeah, that's weird. It's like only seeing... Only seeing Joseph Sebastian milk it. Oh, no. If you shoot, they hear that. Mm, right, yeah. No, I don't want to run. But if a s really loud metal door slowly... It slowly grates open. Yeah. No, no worries. Wendy, please. Oh, my God. She seriously makes me nauseous. <laughs> oh, just stop. Just turn around and leave, please. You're utterly disgusting. Thank you. Uh, I don't know that she's leaving. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. Uh, Wendy. You're embarrassing yourself. Uh, and you're making me sick to my stomach. Still? Which way are you even walking? You're just a disgusting mass of limbs and faces. There uh, she goes. There it is. Okay, so she doesn't have eyes in the back of her head. Uh, this doesn't look good. And they're giving you more stuff, so... Well, <laughs> this could just be a dead end with this more stuff, because we did use a fuse to get in here. It's an optional place. Mm, yeah, true. I'm hoping that, uh... Oh. Hey, body bag land. Hey, guys. Oh man, this pile of corpses on the floor? Uh... What is that? That looks awesome. This is... Really gross. Wait, is that a baby carriage? Because that's freaking disturbing if that's a baby carriage. What just happened to the light? <laughs> How are we in a mine? <laughs> yeah. I don't understand this. Uh. Okay, it's not a baby carriage. At least it's a mine cart. What? So the resonance is... Oh, God, dude. I don't think he's gonna come to life. No, he looks like a charred little Charman. Uh, Charmander, isn't that the Pokemon? That is that is a Pokemon. <laughs> well, that's what they had in mind when they created that Pokemon. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a charred man and dur. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's a charred man, dur. Yeah, no, <laughs> no question about it. What's that in the? <laughs> what is that in the minecart? It's Charman, dur. <laughs> What? Uh, it's coming. I got Seriously? Get what? It's freaking dancy. How do I get out of here then? There's only one way. You got to go through the dough and hide and go slow. Where? Yeah, where is she? Uh, it's kind of hard to get out of here when there's only one path. And there's a Wendy at the end of it. What the heck, Dancy? Well, we haven't seen her in a while. That's good, though, because yeah. I thought we might have missed the end of her story. Now... If she was only in... Oh, crap, uh, and balls! She knows our name? No. Uh... Oh, cool! That's amazing! Oh, God. That's so cool-looking. Oh, now I'm going to have to do this again. <laughs> she that thing again. You you just said that. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Oh, never mind. That's uh, cool. You took our hiding spot and you gave it back. That's I mean, kind of you. She knows where I am. Yeah. <laughs> so She's just, just totally trolling you right now. Yeah, there's no real like Ah. Uh, uh, there's nothing I can do, really. Unless I sprint for it. We still never tried to, like, run next to her. <laughs> what? Um... Oh my god. This part of the game is so amazing. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Dancy. Uh, well, that makes one of us, then. <laughs> She's so much more freaky and creepy than Stefano ever was. Like, Stefano's just, like... Oh, I want to make some art. Like, over and over and over again, like a broken record. We get it. But like, he was creepy when we first saw the dead people frozen in time. And then, like, his his art projects were creepy. But him in person was just kind of, like, annoying. <laughs> but Dancy in person is freaking crazy. She's definitely terrifying. Yeah, she's so freaky. Guess we'll be going uh, left then. Yeah, I don't really have a choice in the matter here. 
Look how cool she looks. Uh, and she knows our name. So she knows who Sebastian is for whatever reason. Um, Are you a friend from Bacon, Dancy? Do you remember? Oh! oh. Um! Hi! Hello. Where are you going there? You don't Hi. know where I am. Can you actually kill us? Oh, oh, yes, you can! Oh, yeah, she can. Hello. Oh, she just wants to give you a kiss. Oh. She just wanted to give you a kiss. Well, I did not... <laughs> I did not consent to that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a bit... That's a bit much. She just sucked the soul out of my body. Huh. That's not as... So she is definitely like this hardcore supernatural thing like more more intimidating than anything else we've faced so far absolutely yeah what, mean, what was the what was the alternative you thought she was just faking it was like some guy with a light projector yeah. i gotcha yeah. <laughs> it was just star trek <laughs> billy oh, oh. i told you not to mess with a movie projector that film projector is for office use only <laughs> But dad, just... <laughs> Charmander, <laughs> Billy. I want to make a Charmander. <laughs> okay, so oh. she does actually kill us. It's right. good that we confirmed that. I don't think we've ever actually died no, to her. No, we've before. never died by uh, by Dancy before. Death by Dancy. Death by Dancy, getting fancy. <laughs> she is gonna scare you till you poop your pantsy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's happened a couple times already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why you've been... You had to go between episodes and change real quick. Yeah, that's why I've been so quiet. <laughs> what? Why? She's just doing this tight little circle now. Yeah, what the heck? Are you stuck? <laughs> okay, oh. yeah, that does seem impossible to actually get by within that oh, window of while she's turning. Oh, the bottle. Can I do this? Mm. Dancy, you want a drink? Open wide, Dancy. A little booze. A little booze for ya. Does she care? I don't think so. She doesn't care. What the heck? Doesn't seem like that bothered her in the slightest. Maybe she's vision only. Because when she, when she was after you, it was only the eye. There was no auditory cue. Oh, right, right. So maybe that means she doesn't give a damn about your bottles. <laughs> I don't that's yeah. the technical definition. I don't give a holler and hoot nanny. What is the nature of this creature? She has no auditory sensing capability? No, 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 no. I believe the, the qualification there, Doctor, is she don't give a damn about your bottles. Oh, I see, I see. It's I'll log that in Interesting, the fire. interesting. <laughs> I mean, we could Just test that. Just as I suspected. We could test that by running, I guess. Oh, that's true. You All might right. have to, yeah. given this tight window. Tight little window, uh, Wendy. Wendy window. Actually, at least Dancy is freaky and not repulsive. Like, Wendy just makes me... Oh, she can see you through that one, by the way. Oh. Time to test out that running theory. Oh. Yeah, there's no auditory at all. Oh, what? Oh. What? This is so amazing. Oh, you set up places for us to hide? Thank you. Thanks, I guess. Was there a way you could go back there to the left? Do we have to go in here? I mean, I assume we do because it seems like she's clearly blocking the next area. Right. It yeah. looked like there was another path. I think that was a... Uh... Huh. Do I? Oh. Oh, I she blocked it now. Yeah. There's no going back. Man, okay. she is so awesome. She is so freaky. Okay, sorry. Sorry for this. I mean, you're kind of doing this to yourself. But I don't want to be a part of this. You yeah. don't want to be a part of this. It's weird. She's like partially helping us out. Oh, the room reconfigured. Okay. Oh. She's 
consistently changing everything. That's so awesome. Did oh. I mention I'm a fan of this? <sighs> oh yeah, I think I... Oh, do not. Do not do what I think you're doing. Big fan of Dancy Diana's. Oh god. And she did not have any audio thing while you were running. So it seems like you can run. Hmm. But I you can't hide. I don't no. really want to. <laughs> no, we're hiding. And you can clearly hide. Yeah. You can run, but you can't hide. But you no, can I do. only we're, hide. <laughs> we're we're hiding. That's yeah, there's there's no other option here. There's yeah. no fighting, there's no staying here. <laughs> you pretty much have to hide. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I like that type of horror better. Oh, she saw you partially. Weird. Huh. I like that type of horror better, because it's more freaky. Like the part where there's a million zombies, but you can shoot them all. It makes the zombies not actually that right. much of a scary threat. When there's just like that, those regular zombies, it doesn't really, like, it's not really intimidating. Right. They don't scare you if you can just shoot them. They're not that freaky. Mm -hmm. they're, right. they're, they go from being a scary... A source of fear to being a target. Right, right, yeah. But Dancy, she don't mess around! Uh oh. Raggedy do, Dancy! Uh oh. How do we even get to the edge now? Can I jump Holy over? Holy crap, that was great. Maybe if you back up and you, there's an opening on the left? I mean, we can't go right through her, it's no. all closed up. There might be. Behind you, on the left, a way through. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till she turns and then do a little, do a little test to test it. It's like who knows how many times she's gonna rearrange. Yeah. More oh, thank you. Reconfiguration here. Thank you, miss. What's, what's she's being her own worst enemy here right now. Really? Unless she really wants to help us, she knows our name. It seems like if she wanted to, she could have just killed us. <laughs> oh yeah, she had plenty of opportunities to. Yeah, she ran up and did that freaky ring super speed crawl motion at us and threw us back into this weird alternate reality. Right, yeah. I mean, if she wanted to, she could have just sucked our soul out right there. So maybe she's sort of having fun? Yeah, she's doing this on purpose. Kind of mess with us a little bit. Uh, um, no miss, no, 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 no. Don't. Oh, yikes! Dancy, yeah. Diana, please keep all your freaking cloth tendrils on that side of the <laughs> Of the cloth curtain. <laughs> so I have to go back again. She reconfigured it once more. Really? I don't see a way back. Huh. It doesn't look open on that side at all. Right, yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. She's gonna keep herself on this side of the cloth. And yeah, you just be happy. Be happy there. She is so well done. Good job to any. I see one that worked on, uh, worked on her, yeah. Yeah. One of the creepiest. Oh, there's. Oh, okay. I see what you're talking with here. Shh. Yeah. I'm a much bigger fan of the team to put her together than the Stefano team. But maybe there's more people out there who are Stefano fans overall. Nice! Of course this happens. It auto-saves every time that happens, so oh, it's still yeah. progress. That would be oh. more like an old school game if <laughs> if there was no auto-saving and if she sees you once you have to start the whole Go thing Go all the way from scratch, yeah, that would suck. I mean, it's not all the way from scratch, it's like five minutes worth. If you start learning the path, there's so much cover that she gives you. It's interesting. I don't know why she uh, she doesn't just blockade the door and you're stuck in here forever. Right, right. That's like the the arch villain, the video game arch villain concept. <laughs> right. Where so yeah. they're just. I mean, seriously. Uh oh. Please turn around. Nope. This is not gonna go well. Nope. If the if the villain of the game was not a moron, they would win every time. Like Link in in Zelda games, Link has to go through a million dungeons and collect all this stuff and then finally fight Ganon. That's how most of the games go. Right, right. But in all the dungeons, there's all these locked doors and all this 
locked treasure, and Link has to get these keys and then go in and fight the bosses. If Ganon had any brains, he would not make keys. Right. Just have locked doors, you win. <laughs> Link can't get over the next thing, he can't get to the next object, he can't pass the bridge, that's it, he loses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very true. You don't have to, uh, like every door you. does not need really, not really a key. Why is it after me? What does it have to do with this place? Um, Good question, Sebastian. Am I going to have to redo this part again? Why does she know our name? But yeah, I'm so glad Dancy's still here. We didn't... I thought for a second, after we never saw her again after that Jukes Diner thing, I thought maybe, oh, okay. She is... We missed something, and she was supposed to be completely solved in that section of oh, Union. She's lost forever now. Yeah, because I didn't want to miss the end of her story, but no, it looks like... Awesome! Oh, we might... She's still around. Uh oh. Uh, we take this. We sort of want to take it, and we sort of don't. Oh right. Well, I guess I don't have a choice here. What? They didn't show us. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is this about her? Huh. Long-lasting residual effects of stem immersion. Uh. Letting who? Oh. So they're watching us, okay. Damn. Mobius were using me as their guinea pig. Long lasting residual effects. They knew Stem would scar me like this. Why would they need you for that if they have fifth they have a whole town's worth of people attached to the second stem? <laughs> yeah, they could I mean maybe they don't they don't have anyone that has been uh, shown stem as much as or plugged into the stem as long as Castellanos the citizens of Union like they lived in stem right yeah all of them have been in longer than him like Castellanos has been in here for like three days and however long he was in the first stem right. project in right. the first game right yeah the first stem is the he hasn't been living there as in a community for weeks or months or years like mm. these other guys the Castellanos beacon situation yeah, staff psychologist is on our payroll, obviously. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. So they're um, saying afterwards he kind of fell apart. But, I mean... Hmm. Kidman was right. They are everywhere. They were hmm. right under my nose the entire time. Come on, you had to have known that about the counselor guy. <laughs> You're the world's worst detective, I swear. <laughs> like, how obvious does something have to be for you to put it together? He's probably, uh... Yeah. Oh. oh. Is this... A way a out? Way out? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, cool. What is going on there? Oh, that's that guy from the first game. Oh, yeah. Mysterious Assassin's Creed looking bug guy. Huh. Okay. Well, now I'm happy that we did this, or else we would have missed all of Dancy. Yeah. It's, this part of the game is so awesome. All these... Can't, can't get out. Still here. What is this? Can't leave. Nothing changes. Ooh. Oh, it's Sebastian on a... Hello. Sebastian on a plate! My fault. It's all my fault. What the hell is this? Can't move on. Can't. Oh. <laughs> Evil within one in ten seconds. <laughs> is me. The part of me still stuck in stem. Never getting out. No. I'm wrong. Oh. I don't do get that. out. But without you. What? That doesn't seem like the right solution. Uh, did you just kill a part of your consciousness? Because. What was that? It felt different than the others. More real. Like something changed. I feel. good. Huh. 
trusty revolver. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a long time. So, was that it? Why was that positive? Why wouldn't you free your trapped self? Why would you shoot it? I guess in a way that's freeing it. <laughs> in a way? <laughs> that's true. But I mean, it's not the good kind right. of way. Right, yeah. Not the most optimal situation. But, uh, I guess that's the only option. According the, to the developers of this game, yes. Right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that is unquestionably a good choice, according to the developers of this game. Just like Kidman, trusting Kidman is now unquestionably a good choice. She's obviously trustworthy, and really fighting against Mobius, definitely trustworthy. Right. Even yeah. though the first game, she totally lied and was working for them. <laughs> now it's forever. totally fine. <laughs> We're gonna have to kill something here. No. Oh, that's surprising. I think we're out of the danger. Like, we just went through the dancey segment, so now it's safe. We have to just go back to Wendy. Hmm. Oh. I don't want that. So, I was have... the whole time Dancy trying to help us free our old trapped portion of Sebastian's mind? Or... I don't... Was she trying to actually... I think kill us or keep that trapped portion left. Yeah, that could be it. Like she, well, maybe she was created by us, our previous mind to like kind of keep it there in STEM. But I mean, there's no unless we like find Dancy again, then we'll know for sure. Or if that was it, like us killing that part of us, right, has just freed us from Dancy's grip entirely. And does that mean that that blood writing way back from the first dancey scene was actually Sebastian that said, you cannot keep me here mm. on the mirror? Ah, yeah, that's true. Like, he's kind of... Has she changed? There she is. Okay. Miss America. <laughs> <laughs> here she is. Oh, there's no way out. Oh, we have to go through that. Oh, okay. No, this opened up. Okay. Okay. I was gonna say. Thank. They don't. Goodness. Need... So me. far, they've never had us actually have to fight a Wendy. Oh. oh, there's glowy bits there. Oh. Oh God. Keep your glowy bits. Oh. Well, we I... might have to pick up these glowy bits and get away from Wendy next time, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, we totally freed our mind from. What it seems like to, and uh, never-ending despair. So, a lot has happened this this episode. Yeah, it's definitely good to get get his conscious clear, but it just seems like that's not the right way to do it. <laughs> if there's if part of I see what they're saying. I mean, yeah. part of him is trapped in se in, the, in stem, the stem and it's yeah. being tormented. Maybe it's just a residual effect of him being in there. Right. Yeah. But it was giving the current him headaches so it seems like it was still directly attached to him mm. like, but it just seems like <laughs> free him like, just <laughs> just untie him and let him go on his way and then he can fade out and meld back into your mind that way don't just eliminate it <laughs> it just oh. seems so insane <laughs> it seems like well he didn't want to leave like he was just of the impression that he cannot leave like that part of his mind felt like it but, was trapped right but he he physically wasn't trapped, but maybe his mental state was... I mean, he didn't even try. If he tried and then shot him, I'd say, yeah, definitely. Right, uh, if there was but, at least... <laughs> yeah, of like, hey, we gotta get out of here or something like that. He's just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no rest for the week. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of those... Like a game where war is inevitable, inevitable but they never even try to like, negotiate. Have a resolution out yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It's just like, <laughs> no! <laughs> that person has done something I will never forgive them for! Never! Well, everyone in my nation is now at war because that person insulted me at dinner or something <laughs> crazy like that. It's just all of you tens of thousands of people die. We're definitely at war. There's no other way to handle it. <laughs> like, what? What? Just, just at least Sebastian, he's right in front of you to say, hey, hey, I'm here to help. Pick him up. Yeah. Dust him off. If that doesn't work, then shoot him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if they made it so that's the only way, okay. Yeah, yeah. What, I'm, I'm losing my mind. We'll see yep. you guys <laughs> next time. All right, see you next time.
gonna just uh, I'll, I'll see you run away. See you in a little bit. You wanna come in? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh, oh. what? There it is. Oh.